So welcome back uh, and let us continue to worship God as we pray. So let us pray. Lord, once again, we, we thank you for the opportunity to meet, though physically apart again, yet united in our faith to declare the good news of Jesus. Lord Jesus, on this Palm Sunday, as we remember your triumphant entry into Jerusalem, we are reminded of how easy it would have been for you to take the easy option and to simply follow the way of the world. With the shouts of welcome still ringing in your ears, the hosannas of the crowd still fresh in your memory, it must have been so tempting in your humanity to just give them what they wanted and to be the sort of Messiah that they longed for and indeed hoped that you would be. But we know that this was not the Jesus way because with you, Lord, there was to be no compromise. There was to be no watering down of the message that you came to proclaim for the sake of seeking popular acclaim. We thank you that you stayed true to your calling, despite the inevitable consequences that were to unfold during this Holy Week. Lord, we just confess that we find it so hard to stay true and turn, so difficult to stay the course, so difficult to live out uh, the Jesus way of life in an attitude of total self-sacrifice. So Lord, forgive us our sins. Grant us the courage to walk the way of discipleship as a follower of yours, to live our lives dependent on your grace that will enable us to stay true to you, come what may, in the days that lie ahead. And so we offer our prayers in the name of Jesus our Lord, who has taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, we're glad to have Taylor sharing uh, with us in our service this morning. And he is now going to have a word for any young people who are watching this service today. So over to you, Taylor.